Hello everybody, hope you had a great day and for those of you who just started your day, um, wish you a great day ahead. Today I will do um, another Bossa Nova classic, this one um, is by Anton Carl Jobin, so this one is called Wave. Yeah, I love the song, it's a, it's a beautiful song. Okay, this song I will do it in um, key of uh, G. And as usual, I will do, uh, break them down, I'm doing part by part, break down the chords and how I approach the arrangement and do it slowly and uh, on the tabs and chord shapes and everything. So let's get started. Wave by Anton and Carl Jobin, okay, in key of G. So get your guitar ready. So let's do it. So the first, the uh, first part, the verse. Okay, so the first part. So this is a D11 over here. So you play D11 over the fifth fifth fret. Okay. So, so this is a melody note. Da, da, da. So just play do this the bar the fifth fret. Okay. Then do um G major seven chords over here. This is a G major seven. So then do the alternate bit. Thanks, Elvin. Okay, this is this what the alternate bass for the, the bossa nova. So this is alternate bass. So the melody notes, then, then melody again. Then this part is the uh, uh, very nice uh, diminished chords, okay? You can do single line if you want. Okay, third line. Okay. Du -du 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 -du. Okay. So it's all the uh, diminished arpeggio. Okay, this is some um, notes going to the next one. Okay, uh, if you can do a uh, diminished chord to outline the uh, harmony. So you already have when you do a diminished chord, you already have you can just appreciate this line. Then here, you can do another diminished chord. Okay. Then do the uh, D minor over here. Okay, the melody note. So. Can't do it yet, so you can always Okay, so we go to the
Try to do a diminished chord. Okay, okay. So again from the top, start. Again. Part where we reach the D minor. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so. So we have um, this D minor, um, this D minor with the alternate bass, which is. Okay. Then this part is the. Uh, so we have like D minor over here, then this one is uh, uh, G, G7, okay? So G, <coughs> G13, okay? So because of this one. So we have. Hi Ron. <coughs> Hi Norman. Yeah. Uh, today's doing the uh, wave wave by Anton Carlo Jobin. So basically, it's just a D minor, then G G seven or like G nine or G thirteen. Okay. And for this part, and uh, okay, you can be sort of doing this. Or you can do a. Because we're going to C major 7, you can do a flat 5 substitution, like doing a C, uh, C sharp 7, flat 9. Yeah. Okay, it's up to you, okay? So that part will be. So that would be something like this. So this is the usual um, D minor. Then this part is uh, the other G11, G9, G11, or 13. Then this part, yeah, you do the uh, C sharp 7 flat 9. Because we're going to C, okay? So, okay, uh, if you have a problem doing this, you can always start uh, practice low. Just uh, isolate the parts. Okay. So far, we have the first part. Let's try the first part. Do it slowly. Okay, diminish again. Again. Next part is a C major seven, which is okay. Again, slowly. Again.
So again, there's two chords over here, which is C major seven and okay. Okay, this part we have um. So this is the C major seven, C major okay, or C and nine. The chord shape is like this, okay. Then this is alternate bass. So we have. Then this part is the. Uh, uh, this is the F, thirteen, okay. So we have. This is the alternate bass over here, so the melody. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Okay. So we have over here. Okay, this part over here. So again, this is alternate bass. Okay. okay rem remember the um the bass, the root root on the fifth here. So you always play on the the downbeat. So. Uh, try to separate. You can, if you can't do them yet, uh, you can always try to separate them, play them, practice them part by part. Okay, so how we have. Then, um, yeah, then you go to the next part. Okay, just like. Okay, again. Okay, this is the. There's a line over here, so. So this is the B minor seven chords over here with the alternate bass. Okay, but thank you, Zanudo. Thank you very much. Uh, if you like it, please uh, share share to your friends. Thank you very much. Okay, so um. Okay, this is this part. So I say this is the B minor seven and to the alternate bass. Then this part, this is the E. Okay, E, uh, E eleven. Okay, or E thirteen over here because we. Have, okay, this part we do um line. Da -da -da -da. So. Da -da 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 -da. So. So with a B minus seven and an E eleven, okay. So again, okay. Again, again. Next part, okay. The next part. Okay. 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 Again. 
minor pentatonic over here so again this is so this is the um, A7 chords okay you have the A7 chords over here the finger ring is here so the, this is then the bottom over here okay okay this is like over here the finger ring so basically it's is a A7 chords A7 bar chords so you have The timing so that these notes come first. So, so this is a um, D7 sharp 9, which is like a Hendrix chord. Okay, put it on the top. Then you do a line, the uh, minor pentatonic. is the last part of it so we can see the melody <laughs> so again okay cool so then after that okay go to the uh, go to the root but this is time we go um uh, wait change to a uh, minor okay okay so you have so this is a then go to c7 so basically it's a uh, G, G minor, then the C7, then again G minor, G minor, then go back to the restart the verse again. The D7 chord. Okay, so we have G minor, C7, and G minor. Okay, so from there. This is what uh, you can do. Okay. Okay. This is a the G sharp seven, which is a uh, flat five substitution of this uh, D seven. Then again, this is go back to the G minor, then the C seven over here. Okay, the G minor seven. So. Okay, so this 
is the first part of the, the verse, okay? Let's put them all together. So we have... Do it again slowly. So start with this. Chorus part, okay. So yeah. So then after that, the chorus part is uh. Okay, it's uh, uh easier than the verse part. Okay, so we have. So it's just like C minor seven. Then we have this uh, uh, F seven over E flat. Okay, which is like seven F seven, but with the bass the uh, is inversion. Okay, D minor seven again. Is the uh, um, yeah C minor seven over here C minor chords. Du, 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 du. So this is the um, okay. The fingering is then um, D minor seven. Da, da, da. So three chords over here C minor seven F over E flat. Then um, D minor seven. So C minor seven. F over E flat, then uh, D minus seven. So the melody notes. Okay. Okay. Guess only. C minus seven. Okay, this one, this one. Uh, when you do this part, you use your pinky for D, then slide up to E flat, then the bar. Okay, the pinky to bar. Okay, which is so. So. Add in alternate bass for this part. Okay. Again. Okay. 
Okay, slowly. As usual, uh, if you can't handle this part or any parts, you just break it down and practice them uh, slowly, okay? Isolate them. Okay, then this is the first part of the chorus. Then the second part of the chorus is the same, but we just move down. Two frets down and do the same thing, so... Then go back to the D11, okay? Okay, so again this part. D. Okay, go back to the verse. So again. Yeah, so let me play the whole chorus for you guys, slowly. Okay, go back to the brush. So, okay, then the brush, um, same thing, so... That's about it. This is the whole arrangement of the wave. Um, it's quite um, uh, uh, manageable. There's not a lot of uh, cross movement like the other tutorial. And yeah, let's play the whole thing again slowly. And uh, if you're interested, you can always stop the video and go to the f earlier parts uh, because I show a uh, break down the parts and pause the screen like I show them in this kind of format. Yeah, I draw the chords. You can look at the tabs, the frozen tabs, and the finger rings. I even highlights the uh, melody. Yeah, at the earlier parts of the video, so you can always like go to the uh, front part, okay, and uh, look and look at the frets, uh, the tabs, the the frozen tabs, and uh, play them, okay. And now I'm gonna play the whole song, okay, slowly. So this is "Wave" by Antonio Carlo Jobim. <laughs> you see this is a pretty straightforward arrangement and uh, yeah let me play this for the last time um, slowly so you guys can uh, have a listen to the whole song and uh, after that you can stop the video rewind back to the front part look at the taps and everything okay <laughs> Thank 
Yeah, that's it. So wait for Andalon Cloud Jovin, the um, straightforward arrangement. Uh, if you like it, please uh, show it to your friends, um, uh, either on Facebook or whichever social media platform. And uh, there's a uh, two thousands of our song at the the site. Uh, you look at the uh, link at the down there at the bottom of the screen, linkbynet.com. So they're all free and available in a software format, and uh, which show the uh, animated fret dots. And uh, there's also Taps, uh, chord grids, and audio and video. And um, if you like it, please share it. And yeah, so this is it for the day. And I uh, hope you guys uh, uh, have a nice day. And see you guys tomorrow. Bye.